Hello guys and welcome to the most requested video on my channel which is the best guns in season 9 battle royale. Before we start you should know that I made this list based on some tests and after playing some games in the new season so it represents my own opinion. Some of you may agree and some may disagree so please keep that in mind. Also technically I'm still testing weapons since there are a lot of new weapons but don't worry. If I find another good weapon, then I will make a separate video. Let's get started. In number 6, we have the M4. This gun wasn't really affected much by this update except for the recoil which got a small nerf. Honestly, this gun has a bit of everything, average recoil, average damage, average range, but there isn't really something that makes it special. At 10 meters range, the M4 kills an enemy with a level 3 vest and 150 HP in this type, which isn't the best among assault rifles. I haven't made a build for the M4 since I don't use it, I didn't want to waste XP cards but I would go for a recoil enhancement build starting with the barrel. I'll choose the OWC Marksman, another good barrel for the recoil would be the OWC Ranger and the difference between the two that the Marksman would give you more accuracy but less movement speed so it's really up to you but honestly both are good. Next I have the Optic which is my favorite scope of all time, the Red Dot. Then we have the stock and I choose the MIP strike stock not only it improves the recoil and bullet spread but also the flinch stability and if you don't know what flinch stability is it's basically when an enemy shoots at you you will notice that the screen is shaking so this attachment will reduce the shaking which will allow you to be more accurate when you shoot back at the enemy. Next we have the under barrel and I choose the ranger foregrip. I'll have to sacrifice some mobility for this but it's okay with me even with this mobility loss I still think it's fast enough. And finally we have ammunition and to be exact I went with the 40 round mag. Honestly you don't need the 50 mag, 40 bullets should be more than enough. In number 5 we have the AK-117, the most hated weapon by the developers as they keep nerfing it almost every single update but this update was the biggest hit with the huge hipfire nerf and it became one of the worst hipfire guns. But even with the nerf I still use this gun a lot mainly for the fast fire rate and the low recoil at mid range and these are two deadly combos as it makes it easier for you to aim and track at moving targets while hitting them. At 10 meters range the AK-117 kills an enemy with level 3 vest and 150 HP in this time which I believe is faster than the last season. As for the AK-117 build, it's exactly the same as the M4 build I showed except for one attachment. So instead of the stock, I decided to go with a laser attachment and I chose the OWC laser tactical. Now the reason for that is I find the AK-117 easy to control so I sacrifice a recoil attachment for an ADS speed attachment that will allow me to open the scope and aim faster than my enemies. This may not sound a big deal to you but trust me even though it's a split second difference, you can fire 5 bullets or more while your enemy still haven't finished opening his scope which can give you head start and advantage. In number 4 we have the Cordite, one of the newest additions to battle royale. One thing I love about this gun is the firing sound, it's just so satisfying. At 10 meters range the Cordite kills an enemy with the level 3 vest and 150 HP in this time and as you notice it's considered a long time and even longer than ARs themselves. But the reason why it chose the Cordite to be a number 4 because it's actually the new king of hipfire. As you can see here I did a comparison between the Cordite and the AK-117 which used to be one of the best hipfire guns. And you can see the big difference. The build I chose for the Cordite is hipfire based and when it comes to hipfire there are three important attachments that you must include. The first one is the muzzle and to be exact the MIB light flash guard. The second important attachment is the laser attachment. I chose the MIB laser and the third hipfire attachment is the under barrel and I went with the MERS foregrip. Obviously the main reason I went with these three attachments is because they provide extra hip fire accuracy. The fourth attachment I used is a perk which is the wild hip fire perk that increases your hip fire accuracy when you slide or when you jump which makes it perfect for this gun. Finally since I will be using this gun for hip fire mainly I don't think I need a scope for it 
so I went with an extra 48 bullets extended mag, even if you needed to ADS, this gun has a good iron sight. In number 3 we have my favorite close range gun these days which is the HS0405 shotgun. It can also be considered as a hip fire gun. The difference between this and the core diet is that the shotgun actually needs more accuracy and more skill in general. Because if you miss you die it's simple as that. As for the core diet you have 48 bullets so it won't really matter much if you miss. Since it's a shotgun I decided to test it at 5 meters range because that's the range you try to be at when you fight an enemy. And this this gun can one shot kill an enemy with a level 3 vest and 150 HP. Just make sure you always aim at the chest and the head area. As for the build I went with a choke as a muzzle and then the barrel as I chose the RTC extended light barrel. Both these will give you more range and more accuracy. Next I went for a disabled perk which basically slows down your enemy after you hit them which makes it easier for you to hit your target since missing shots isn't really an option here as I mentioned earlier. Another important attachment is the ammunition and I went with the 500 GR slug which gives you a huge damage boost and a bit of range. Finally I went with a bit more hip fire accuracy and picked the MIP laser 5MW. If you use the shotguns with ADS then you should go with the OWC laser tactical but in my case I mostly use it with hip fire. In number 2 we have the biggest surprise in season 9. Surprise motherfucker. The ASM. This weapon is like the ugly girl or boy in school that nobody really liked. Then they turn out to be super hot in college. That's exactly what happened with the ASM. Nobody really used it from season 1 to 8. But in season 9 people realized how good this gun is as they significantly buffed the record. At 10 meters range the ASM kills an enemy with a level 3 vest and 150 HP in the same time as the AK-117. But what makes it special that it has a better range and can also kill fast in mid to long range combined with the good record. As for the build it's 100% exactly the same as the M4 so I'm not gonna go through it again. This will improve the recoil control and gives you more range but you will sacrifice a bit of mobility. And finally in number one we have the AK-47 and I'm sure it's not a surprise most of you saw it coming. This gun was already one of the best and most used guns from season 1 to season 8 and on top of that they decided to buff the recoil so now it's crazy good. Not only that but it actually has a better hip fire than AK-117 and you can use it to hip fire but only when you're hugging your enemies at 5 meter range or less. At 10 meters range the AK-47 can kill an enemy with a level 3 vest and 150 HP in this time which is insane honestly i did not expect it to kill that fast so basically the ak-47 has a role it kills fast in close range and it has enough range to kill fast at mid to long range the only issue i faced when using this gun is the crazy high recoil at very long ranges and as far as i remember it wasn't like that in the previous season so when i tried to spray at the very long ranges i ended up killing birds instead of my enemies but it also makes sense since most of the assault rifles got a recoil nerf except for the asm again the build i chose for this gun is a recoil control based build which is exactly the same as the m4 and the asm just to be able to spray your enemies easier at mid to long range and even though this gun has a little bit higher recoil than the SM it kills faster. You might not realize this but by viewing the video you already supported me however if you find this useful then kindly consider leaving a like and if you're feeling extra generous then maybe share it with your friends. It did take me a lot of time to test and record and edit and that explains the delay as the video should have been out 5 days ago so I'm really sorry about that. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next video. Peace.